Hello, and welcome back to Metroid Prime. Or rather, Metroid Prime Trilogy, because uh, we're moving on to the next game in the series, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. This one I have not actually completed, as you can see on this uh, version. Metroid Prime 3's variant is essentially the same as the original Wii game. But anyway, so yeah, I've only ever played the GameCube version of 2 Echoes, and it even has the multiplayer, but we won't be getting into that. It was fun, but I've not really got anyone to play it with here, so... Anyway, let's begin. Veteran difficulty, of course, because that's equivalent to normal on, um, well, good old. That's the word I'm looking for. The word I am looking for is GameCube, yes. But hey. So, yes, I believe I'll let the intro play. Yes, no? Ah, there we are. So yes, that's essentially the opening to our game. Apparently there's a Federation troop down on an uncharted planet. The rogue planet, should I say, called Aether. Strange, the lab in the last game was called Aether, but that's completely unrelated, strangely enough, but oh well. Funky interface. Does Samus use Windows 7, I wonder? And off we go. There's Aether. And it appears to be in a state of flux. Well, that certainly doesn't look healthy. Hint, it isn't. of re-entry, no big deal. Or actually, yes, big deal, because if I'm right, yep, there we go. I think this is actually one of the worst landings she's ever had. I don't think she's ever crash-landed before. Well, she crash-lands in the future if you can't fusion, but hey, what can you do? So yeah, this time we don't really get an intro sort of place, per se, which isn't as cool as the first game, but everything else about this game I love, since it is pretty much my favourite in the trilogy. Hello, Samus. You're in the various suit again. How are you this evening? Or this day, I can't really tell what time it is on that planet. So, yeah. Turn to your ship to save your game. Also, a cool interface, bro. Controls are pretty much identical. Can I scan my ship? You can actually scan this from the beginning this time, huh? This time you can press 2 to go straight to the logbook, which you couldn't do before. No, sir. Anything else I can scan around here? Statues with power. Uh, what are you? Motivator unit. Can't be moved with the power beam, that's correct. However, I think I shall do what the game says. Also, I can space jump, look. I wonder how long that'll last. Ah, ah. Also, Samus's suit looks far nicer. Far shinier. Prime 1's very suit didn't look anywhere near as nice. All the little details are embellished. It's all quite nice. Right, saved. So I guess we shoot whatever the hell this is. Okay. I can't charge, however. Oh, never mind, there it goes. Charge is a bit delayed in this, uh, in Prime 2. Also, can I... No, I don't think doors are scannable. At least not this kind of door, anyway. But yeah, that that's the thing. This being the first playthrough of this from the perspective of my sort of Wii version, I have to scan everything again. 
cannot translate alien text. That will be important later. Not yet. There's a chasm, so let's jump down it. Why not? Great going there, Samus. Hello. So this is a Federation outpost. These are Federation crates. Yep. Pesticide supply at 30% dropping. Mm. Pesticide, huh? Yep, that's Galactic Federation security. Splinter. Yeah, they're kind of dead. Also, as per usual, scan things to open gates and the like. Oh, actually, you have to shoot these. Okay. Ew, this doesn't exactly look pleasant. Nope. Ooh, this, I can't get through yet, can I? Is this... Fight cargo boards? Aha! Uh -huh. That'll do it. There we are. So yeah, there, there is kind of still an intro. It's not quite as profound as the first game, as I said, but hello, Galactic Federation Compound. It, it's good, you actually get to see more of the Federation and their handiwork in this game. Nowhere near as much as you'll get to see in the third game, for better or for worse, but... Hey! I'm not complaining. Is this a map station? This is a map station. Very much the same as before, some funky colours will come up. You'll interact with them. And presto, map downloaded. This is, I believe, the Temple Grounds? Temple Grounds. Temple Grounds for what exactly? Oh, we'll find out soon. Okay, no. Hello, Galactic Federation guys. Standard human. Standard. He died from fear. That's lovely. Also, I can scan these bastards. They're just your regular worker splinter. You can get a bit more information by going here, but it's not usually more than the norm. Can I cut these folks down? No, but I can sort of shoot them and they dance around a bit. Anyway, we're going to kill these splinters because they are nasty. So yeah, can I absolutely not cut these guys free? No, apparently not. Well, whatever, they're no harm to me, so... Ooh, this is where it begins. Yeah, you can scan certain corpses to get their logs of before they died. So you are C. Bennett. You have to look at the logbook to read these, so... Lock systems failed. Aha! Uh -huh. So, they've been in a hopeless situation. Assumedly against a bunch of killer bugs. Well, that's pleasant. Restore power, huh? B. Reeves. Well, it looks like he's bereaved. No, he's actually dead, but oh well. Yep. Yeah, they got kind of horribly owned there, guys. Sorry. Wolf ball bombs, standard stuff. Oh, and of course, spring ball. Always gorgeous. Um, okay, these guys aren't... Kind of well, zero life signs, unable to recover log entries, so yeah. Red ones usually have logs, blue ones don't. That's an important thing to remember as I go through here. Some objects, like so. Also, I can boost. Any scannable troopers or. Oh, hello. Bomb slot. No guesses as to what that does. Or you can. Know, wait, what? I, that bomb was out. You know what, never mind. I'll take it. I will take that as a personal victory. So yeah, doing that basically restores power, and we can move on. Or... Things could start coming back to life. Metroid Prime, now with zombies. 
happening from Dark Aether. What's all that about? Presence of an unknown biomass. Yeah, so something's possessed the corpses of these troopers. We'll find out what they are soon enough, but for now, they're relatively easily killed. A couple of charge shots, a missile. It's usually enough to crush these guys. Is that all of them here? I think that's all of them here. Well, no, there's more in here, of course. Also, the music in this game is also stellar. Very atmospheric. Atmospheric? Atmospheric. Thank you. Voice. Stay still, I've been singing all day. Hey, That's never good. Panic over. Generally, ones with logs won't come back to life either, so you're safe on that front. Alright, there we are. Yay, we opened it. Bad news? More zombies. They're also in higher res. In the original, I swear you couldn't see their eyes, but now you can, and it's kind of creepy, yeah. In the arm, essentially reanimated corpses. But hey. Right, so where am I now? Can I go anywhere? Can't go there, certainly not. Where are we anyway? Hive storage, command chamber. There's a save point up ahead. That's probably where I'll end off this initial episode. It is only part one. You can forgive me. Oh, actually. Shit goes down in here. In we go. And door's locked. And a very familiar, ominous theme plays as... That thing. It's like another Samus. Fancy that. But I'm not going in after it. So what the hell? Is that a Grenchler? That thing isn't supposed to be in here. That's weird. Oh wait, that came from... Oh, I see, I see. Right, so, um... That's a portal. Fuck it. Time to go. Now, if you're thinking this may be foreshadowing a future and prominent game mechanic, you would be correct. But for now, we get treated to a cutscene. Horrible things. Another Samus. And Phazon. Well... This is a this is a bit of a situation. Don't just sit though. Never mind. See that crystal was the only thing uh, separating Samus from a toxic atmosphere. Would you believe it? And also a horde of dark creatures. Which may or may not be related to the ones that uh, possessed those troopers. Fun fact, they did. Well, shit. Got knocked back through the portal, but... At what cost? If you're thinking all of your latent abilities, ones that would be useful to get through the game, you'd be correct. This is the common video game trope known as Bag of Spilling, and it's just occurred on an interdimensional scale. Gear stone by unknown creatures. Still have the charge beam, mind you, which is gorgeous. But space, jump's gone. Grapple beam, didn't even know we had it yet, but gone. Boost ball's gone. Power bomb's gone, even though we never had those to begin with either. Missiles are gone. Morph ball's also gone. No, morph ball bombs are gone. Morph ball's there. So, yeah, we didn't get our various suits stolen either that time, so that's good, isn't it? Although, if you're thinking extreme heat and cold might be an issue in this game, you'd be wrong. Can I? No, I can't get through that, because my bloody bombs are gone. Nope. Won't move yet, anyway. 
think there is a way to get rid of that later, but also morph ball. What what are you doing? Stop. Anyway. Okay. So that was a bit trouble. Okay, hello. Oh I entirely missed there. Dead and dead. I believe there's a save point in there, which is where we'll end this first episode off. So yeah, so far we have the dead rising, an alternate dimension filled with black creatures and phase on, which is back, of course, and well, another Samus. Well, fancy that, you know, it's, it's all peachy, here, isn't it? It really isn't. Also, can I scan these? Nope, not this time. Gee, well, I'll do so anyway. Save station, which I will very gladly use. Saving. There we are. Just as before, they replenish all of your energy. And there we go. So, yeah, next time, with our powers decreased, and cursor for God's sake, stop. Uh, next time, we'll basically go run around and find out what the hell we're supposed to do. Everyone's dead, there's horrible creatures everywhere, and it's just not a good time, so... Yeah. See you all later.